Hey, it's Nick with Us versus Herd, and this is something that I wanted to address for quite some time. Is you know, I've been I've been trading for a, a, quite a long time, and I've seen the ups and the downs in the market. I mean, in the market that we're in right now, obviously one of the most difficult I've ever traded. It's I mean, obviously I, I I'm not even 40 years old, so I don't know, you know, inflation this high ever. But you know we're we're all, we're all learning here. We're all trying to get better. We're all trying to make the most of this situation. But many, 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 many traders that you know were in the UVH fan that we saw online, everything like that, have completely went ghost. I don't know if they blew up their accounts. I don't know what the issue is. But you know this this video, I want to encourage people. Not necessarily to get back into the market, but to reevaluate your life. Like, why did you why did you start trading in the first place? And you know, I'm gonna go over some charts and everything like that. But the you know, when times get hard, there's two different types of people. When times get hard, one type of person pushes on and goes through. He's like saying, "I want this more than anything. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to to get to where I need to go because this is where I need to be." This is where I need to go right now, and this is where I want to be. I may not be at my goal, but this is part of the journey. Every loss, every setback, I'm going to keep getting back up. I'm going to keep doing what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to keep pushing forward, right? Then there's the other person that says, hey, it got, man, it's just, it's, just, it's just got too hard. It's not for me. I don't know what to do. Every trade I take is a wrong trade. I, I short, I lose, I go long, I lose. Everything I do is bad. I don't know what to do. So you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go back in and clock clock back in at Wendy's. Okay, I, I just can't. I just can't do this anymore. I'm gonna be serving popcorn at AMC because that's a lot easier. Okay. So those are the two types of people, right? And I know I'm cracking jokes here a little bit, but those are the two types of people: ones that lay in when it gets hard, and the ones that lay down. Which one are you? And you know, thankfully during times like this is the ultimate filter. We get to determine, and there's a lot of people that are still here in the UVH fam that are still trading day in, day out. And those are the type of people that want this, want this more than anything. And if, if you were a trader that came up in 2020, 2021, when the markets were just easy, 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 you didn't really want this. You just wanted to get rich. You just wanted to get money. And then when it got hard, you blew your account. That's why you quit. You just want to get rich. And if you're just doing this just for the money, it's not going to happen. You're not going to, you're, you're not going to get to where you need to go. If you're just getting it just in this for the money, you're never going to make it as a trader. You know, trader money is the outcome. Process is everything. Once you go through the process, once you find a sound process, once you get your mindset under control, once you get psychology, once you understand that each stock has its own personality, that's when you're going to start making money. Not when, you know, hey, I bought this when it went up and I shorted it when it went down. Like, you know, markets aren't always going to be that easy. And a lot of people discover that in 2022, when things were getting choppy, we were getting smack bulk size, we were going straight down, we were going straight up. I mean, it is wild. I mean, if you look at the markets here, this is SPY, right? So this is over the last year, you know, we, we, we were experiencing some volatility last fall in 2021. Things were getting a little choppy. This is when the top was in at 479, right? And then we, we, we basically, you know, went down to 362, but it wasn't just straight down. You know, a lot of people try to buy, buy the dip and the people that bought the dip at the wrong times, you know, they started, they started to short these rips and they got smoked and they just weren't patient. And I would say if trading is, is for you, if trading, if, if you want trading to be a part of your life, if you want trading to be what you do on a daily basis, you got to take it a step at a time and you actually have to want it. You actually have to like it. If you're just in it for the money, I hate to say it, you're not going to make it. And that's probably not going to make you feel good. But if you're just trying to make money, trading is not for you. Trading is a career. Trading is a lifestyle. Trading, everything that you do, everything that you think about, everything that, you know, tra tra trading is complex. It's You don't just wake up in the morning, put a few trades on. I know sometimes it looks easy, but we've had time in for the into the market. If you say like, hey, why are these people making money? Why am I not making money? You know, it's because we put time in. And sure, we all have losing days, losing weeks, losing months. You're not going to escape, escape that. And if you can't accept your losses, if you can't accept failure, you're not going to make it. You know, if you're an entrepreneur, you have to accept failure. And that stock market is no different. You have to accept failure. It's okay. You can't win every trade. It's not possible. 
Yes, sometimes it's rigged. Sometimes the government makes it do things. Maybe sometimes investors make it do things. Maybe, you know, there's things outside of our control, but you actually have to accept that. You have to accept that, hey, it's not that you're not good at this. It's just you were the right, you're at the wrong time or the wrong place and something happened. And maybe, you know, you, you're not trading with stops. You know, number one reason people blow their accounts, they don't have a plan. They don't have a stop. You don't have a stop loss. People are like, oh, what's your what's your exit? You know, I ask people, hey, what's your exit strategy? And they're like, uh, well, when it doubles, I'll take my profits. Okay, well, when when what if you're wrong? What when do you get out? Oh, uh, you know, I, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be wrong. You know, I'm not. And that's the thing. People don't plan for failure, but you, in every trade, you have to plan for failure. You have to plan that this could go against you. You know, anytime you put money into the market, your money is at risk. Someone wants to take that. Someone like me wants to come in and say, "Hey, I like that. I like that pile over there. Let's 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 bring it, let's bring it in here, right? There's an easy there's an easy bag to be had right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take your money, right? There's people that I'm going against, algos that we're all going against. We're all going against the algos, and the algos' job is like, hey, let's collect as much money. Let's let's hit these stops. Let's get these boys out. Let's let's tap them out. It's all good. We'll t- we'll take all the money, and then we'll, you know we'll we'll go to the Hamptons and, and and we'll come back in a few months, and everything will be fine, right? And and that's the thing, like you can't get discouraged when you know those things happen, but you have to plan for it. You have to plan like if this happens then do this, whether it's for winning or for losing. If you make money or you lose money, you can't, you, you can still be a profitable trader and win 50% of the time or less, 40% of the time, right? You can still be a profitable trader if you're cutting your losses, but people are like, oh, I can't be wrong. And this is, this is a big mentality thing. This is, this is a mental game. You know, what we're playing here is, you know, not just about knowing how to trade, but also knowing yourself. Knowing what you're capable. Are you a greedy person? You kind of find out, I, I didn't realize like, you know, I, I actually am a, a pretty greedy person. Or maybe you're like, I didn't realize, but I'm an angry person. And when somebody does this to me, I need to get my revenge. And then I start revenge trading and something goes bad, right? Like you have to start identifying these core beliefs in yourself. You have to start identifying like, hey, what is going on? Why am I losing? There's a reason why you're losing. It's not by accident. You know, maybe you're just gambling. Maybe you're just like, oh, I just, I'm a gambler. I'm addicted. I love the thrill of not knowing. Then if you're always going to gamble, then you're always going to lose. And that's the thing. Like, sure, you may win a few here and there, you know, but as, the longer you're at the table, the longer, the, the, the more opportunity they have to take your money. So if you watch this video to the end, comment below. You watch the end. If you want to learn more about options trading, link is below in the description. There's a coupon code for some money off the UVH Academy. It goes through everything from mindset to trading plans. I mean, we'll, 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 we'll get you going right. So if you watch the video to the end, appreciate it. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us first heard.